Hi, my name is Matt Eason. I've been practicing personal injury and wrongful death law here in the Sacramento area for over 25 years. And in this video, we're going to address one of the common questions we get is, who can file a wrongful death claim in California? To answer the question, who has the right to bring in a death claim in California, really depends on whether or not that claim is for wrongful death brought before the traditional court system, or if it's a claim for someone who passed away who's brought in the workers' compensation system. Workers' compensation has its own special rules that we'll talk about at the end of this video. But for a wrongful death claim that arises traditionally out of a car accident, a truck accident, a medical malpractice claim, the law is fairly strict in California as who has the right to bring that claim. From a hyper-technical standpoint, wrongful death claims are really intended to be brought by the estate of the person that passed away. Consequently, if a probate estate is open, then the probate representative or the probate executor is the person best suited to bring a wrongful death claim. However, not everybody needs to open a probate estate, and consequently, if a probate estate has not been opened, then the heirs of succession under the normal probate law have standing or have the right to bring a wrongful death action in plain English. Basically, the spouse or the registered domestic partner have the kind of the priority as to the bringing a wrongful death action. Likewise, children of the decedent or grandchildren, if the children have passed away, have the right to bring a wrongful death action. If the person that passed away did not have a spouse or registered domestic partner or did not have children, then the rules of who can bring a wrongful death action go the normal lines of the probate and it goes to siblings, nieces, nephews, in a certain order of priority. One of the unique things about a wrongful death action in California, however, is that all heirs to the claim should be named in the claim or the lawsuit. Even though they may not wish to proceed, they technically have rights that need to be adjudicated and confirmed that they don't want to proceed. Additionally, there are a few other nuances about people that are dependent upon the person that passed away as to whether or not they have rights to bring an action. In particular, minors, such as stepchildren, may actually have standing in some cases to bring an action. The workers' compensation side of the equation is much broader. You don't actually have to be married or a registered domestic partner. Simply being a dependent of the decedent may give you standing or the right to bring a wrongful death claim under the workers' compensation statutes. California law continues to evolve to try and expand the scope as to who has the right to bring a wrongful death action and no longer limit it to just pure family members by blood. If you're watching this video, then the odds are strong that someone that you loved has passed away. Rather than rely on this video in particular, when there are lots of exceptions to these rules and new ones being created on a regular basis in California, I hope you'll consider reaching out to our firm, Easton and Tamanini, for a free consultation. Let's go over your relationship with the person that passed away and see if you have a valid claim. My name again is Matt Easton. I'm with the law firm of Easton and Tamanini. We're at 1234H Street, Sacramento, California, 95814. Our phone number is 916-438-1819. Or you can find us on the web at www.capcitylaw.com.